pleasure to chat with you, Kathleen. I um, jump right in. Uh, what drew you to want to be a part of a film with such a strong faith message? Well, that's an interesting question. Um, I think really it was uh, that at first that Edward James almost asked me if I would do it. And I had just done a small part for him in uh, The Devil Has a Name that he directed. And I, I enjoyed working with him so much that uh, I, wanted, I wanted to do more. And then I noticed that uh, Mark Medoff wrote it and he wrote Children of a Lesser God, of course, but I had worked with him 20 something years ago in Clara's Heart with Whoopi Goldberg and I wanted to, to honor his work. Yeah, I love, I love uh, your, your dynamic in the film. I thought you guys were all so wonderful together on screen. Um, so my audience is a faith-based audience mm -hmm. and I was very pleasantly surprised because there's so many big Hollywood stars uh, with such an encouraging message. Can you kind of talk to that, you know, um, I think all of us know what it's like to be low on faith. 2020 was one of those years that you're just like, what? <laughs> but in the film, we see, um, you know, that faith can play a pivotal role in helping lift our spirits. Uh, would you, uh, do you have a, 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 your own kind of story where you see that that has helped you in any way? Sure. Um... I mean, we, it's been such a dark time that everyone's going through and, and still is. And, you know, um, my faith has been adjusted because, uh, you know, Sheila in the movie has more faith than I do. And um, I'm not religious per se, but I, I would... I would think this would be a really rough time for anybody that didn't believe in something bigger than themselves. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know. I mean, when else do you need faith? Not, certainly not when things are going well. <laughs> it's, going well. Right. it's going great. But, but now I think we need a lot because, you know, thank God the scientists are helping to pull us through this and that, you know, that there are people like that that will work tirelessly to make that happen. Uh, but there's so much that's uncertain now and that's unknown. We don't know what's coming and we know things are changing right underneath our feet, but we don't know what's ahead. So, so I, I hope we can muster up a little more faith. I'm certainly gonna try. Yeah, me too. And you know what? Sheila has a lot more faith than most of us. I was looking at that woman like, man, she's awesome. I got, we need to have faith like that, you know? Right. Uh, yeah. I, I loved her approach, though, to faith. I feel like, um, you know, our picture of faith based people uh, just, you know, overall can kind of be forceful, you know, people who are constantly forcing what right. they believe and what I loved from Sheila uh, was that she was not like that. She believed what she believed and she allowed her husband to believe what he believed. What can we learn from that? If only we could be like Sheila. Like, it's okay that I believe what I believe and it's okay that you believe what you believe. Uh, if, if, if your belief and your faith is not inclusive of other people, then then we're, we're sunk already, divided we fall. So um, yeah, she, I mean, she was based on the real Sheila that's in Joe's Bullock's book. And, um, and also a friend of mine who's, she's much more religious than I am, but she, but she has so much more faith. And I, I keep giving it a shot and one day I'll figure it out. But, mm -hmm. uh, I hope that people, you know, you can go to walkingwithherb.com and you can learn more about the movie, but I hope that people get a little lift from this because, you know, we need it. Yeah, I totally agree. 
you know, you've worked in Hollywood for many years. You've had such a successful career. Why do you think messages, uh, films with messages as these that are inspiring and, and help us to, you know, hope for a better day? Why do you think they're so important in the field of entertainment? You know, everything has its place and not everybody wants to go to the movies or sit in their living room at the end of a hard day and <clears throat> watch something really challenging and difficult. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a really sensitive person. So <clears throat> challenging and difficult is interesting to me. It certainly is as an actor, but it's easier when things are going well. When things are not going well, you know, I want to watch the British, great American British baking show. And <laughs> certainly Ted Lasso's given us a great lift, but, um, but they're just interesting questions. I mean, we're, we're, we're storytellers, we're filmmakers, we're storytellers. So that's a very interesting story and it's a very interesting subject and, and it's worth exploring in ourselves especially at this time in our lives. But um, if nothing else, you have to see George Lopez and Edward James almost together because they're priceless. <laughs> yes, it was, it really was. It was so good. I'm a Latina, so for me, it's like, you know, look at all your heroes on screen. It's amazing. Oh, <laughs> um, I, you know, the film, there was a lot of divine signs and stuff like that in the film. Uh, have you ever had any divine signs or do you believe in stuff like that? Oh yeah, I do. I do believe in stuff like that. And I have, and you ask me, of course, I'm like the kid in school. If you ask me a question, I go like blank. Can you remember when or what the story <laughs> is? You know, I'll remember it after we hang up. But uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I definitely believe in things like that. I remember when I went to go see my friend's uh, gravesite, my best friend, she died like four years ago. Oh, and so my sorry. husband and I were driving up to the, the place, the, whatever you call it. And uh, I was, you know, I did ask her, I said, would you please send me a sign? I just wanna know that you're okay. And a deer walked right by in front of the car, middle of the day, right by. I said, okay, wow. Good. Thank you. Oh, I, I thank God for moments like that. You made me emotional. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Kathleen. Is there anything else that you'd like to add about the film or anything else? Well, I hope that on April 30th, you know, or May 1st or 3rd, you are able to walk into a theater and, and see this movie. And, and have a breath of fresh air. <laughs>